hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day or evening whenever you're watching this my hair i swear these things are like antennas sometimes it's really fucking annoying but uh it's actually like the middle of the day but i just had a random urge to pick up the camera today rather than any other day because I feel like I just wanted to connect again, have another little rant. I don't think I'm gonna go on for as long as I did in the previous video. Um, if you did watch, I think it was my last vlog um, or something. I was actually sat here for a while and I was getting quite emotional um, about my situation where I'd applied for this job and I didn't get it and I was getting stressed. Well guys, situation's got a little bit worse. Your girl now doesn't have a job. Uh, yeah hi guys sorry for butting in the beginning of this video this is obviously me from the future whilst i'm editing at my computer um but i'm gonna have to split this little first section up a little bit because i'd filmed part of the video uh, at a really random time later in the day and it didn't really fit when i filmed it um and i kind of want to put it towards the start of the video but i didn't really want to put it like first because i hadn't necessarily introduced it i just basically sat down and kind of did a little mini haul with you i talked about an app that i'm using at the moment that i think you guys will like um so i'm just going to input that here and then i'll basically go back to my story about my work situation um and things like that so please bear with me uh, again i'm sorry but yeah i hope you enjoy this little haul so i've decided to just perch myself on my living room floor so i brought in quite a few things i've um either bought or been sent um i'd say yeah within the past couple of weeks but i do want to talk to you about this new app that i've come across this portion of the video is actually in collaboration with an app called rated or rated global um and it's basically uh, a pretty new app that you can post photo content and turn them into like shoppable gifts or you can post video content i think up to like 10 minutes long so you could repurpose like tiktoks or reels from instagram for example or create brand new content or if you've taken photos you can upload photos on there and it's a way of obviously creating content and sharing it with everyone else on the app but also it's shoppable straight away through the photos and the videos that you upload and you can actually earn commission from it so I'm going to show you an example of something I've uploaded that I had on TikTok already. Um, and it's not particularly like a fashion video, but if you want to create kind of short styling hauls, anything fashion beauty related, it doesn't have to be that, but I think that's mainly what a lot of people tend to upload on Rated. I had um, a TikTok that was just kind of like a transformation uh, transition one but yeah this is my profile so you've just got your photo there and then this is what i uploaded so that's just a cover photo that i've put on there but when you tap it ah, it's a little bit laggy yeah. because when you download it from tiktok basically that and then i've linked oh, the extensions yeah. that i've got that you can go through view product takes you to that and then you can go to retailer and it takes you to the website so those are my foxy lock extensions you just close that x that and go back to it and then i also linked the top from boohoo that i'm wearing you can also then go on shop on the app so if i go on like streetwear clothing um and like loungewear or something then it'll come up with lots of different things that the app thinks that I'll like. I think it's just a great way that anyone can use this to be creative and obviously post about and post about like their fashion and outfit looks or like their makeup looks and what products they're using. People can shop through that directly, but you can actually earn commission. Like this is a way that anyone can earn a little bit of commission on just linking their product. Definitely check it out if this sounds like something you're interested in i will leave any links and extra details in the description below but i'm just going to quickly run through a couple of things that i have picked up recently oh, how are these dirty already i do not get it i picked up these um jordan ones i think they are the low jordan ones in arctic punch i want to say the colorway is called i got these from stock x um i think i ended up paying it with like the shipping and stuff in it as well because stock x's shipping is quite expensive um around like 140 pounds which to be fair isn't too bad but i got the grade school size 
absolutely loving these trainers at the moment i think they're so cute i want them in every single color these are really dirty but i just thought i'd point these out because i've been wearing them a lot recently these are from pretty little thing i want to say but obviously they look like the yeezy slides these were probably like 12 pounds i mean yeah i've kind of scuffed them and whatever already but they're a really great sandal i love the style of them if i just had money to spare i'd buy the yeezy ones because they're probably more comfortable um but if you just like the look of it most brands like pretty little thing and um ego places like that will have a dupe the last pair of shoes i only picked up the other day because i don't actually have a pair of black trainers and i feel like when i was looking through different outfits and things to wear especially when i wear like loungewear and like little tracksuit sets and just like leggings i've got my air force i've got my jordans which are colorful like my air force are white but what i have been looking at quite a lot recently is the adidas oswego oswego style trainers they've got a couple of different styles i think they remind me of like the yeezy style ever so slightly which i quite like but these were 65 pounds which I think is great for a trainer that looks stylish then i've picked up some stuff from zara and they're both pink and satin which is so typical of me so the first thing that i got was this dress which i think i've seen a couple of people on instagram or tiktok have but it's like a really nice flowy i think it's kind of like a midi dress it's not quite maxi um it's got a little split in the side here at the bottom and then it's just like a little strappy vest so it skims over really really nicely this is in a size medium and it fits me quite well and then this is something i actually picked up today it's a slightly different pink but it's just like a big long oversized shirt that i can wear as a dress this is ever so slightly more of like a lilac a little bit more of like a paler lilac-y pink the other one's a bit more of baby pink it's 25.99 i got it in a large probably i mean could have got an extra large but the medium wouldn't have been long enough so this fits me really really nicely i think this is going to go so cute with a pair of like little strappy heels a little shoulder bag some gold jewelry like here slip back or like a ponytail or something then i've also got a few things from my misguided order this month including this um oversized jumper which is from hannah renee's misguided collection i think um just says leisure 1998 which is actually the year i was born 5th of april um i got this in a 12 and it's kind of like it's got slight balloon sleeves in it really really soft inside nice and comfy and slouchy i just love jumpers like this to lounge around in i also got this really cute lemon dress so the top of it is kind of like a little milkmaid top and then it's hard to show you but it's got like a cut out in the middle and then you've got the bottom of it it's just like a flowy skirt but it is attached so you've just got the cutouts on the sides and then another dress that i picked up is this one which again i got in a size 10 this one fits quite nicely actually so this is like a really good quality thicker material so it's got kind of like a little cut out milkmaid style there you've just got some ties down the middle you've got a zip at the back um, and it just goes into like a skater style dress with these little puff sleeves so i will link those down below if i can um, and i'm gonna see if i can create like a fun little video or something to style these up um, and put on the rated app as well so if you do download rated make sure you go and follow me it's currently yeah five past six i'm gonna have a little bit of a clean up see if i can create a cool video and um, that i can put on rated and maybe like repurpose for a styling thing on tiktok or instagram like videos like these are really useful to obviously put on different platforms but like i said the thing about rated is you can literally just shop through the links and earn commission so but basically if you guys know me like personally i know a lot of like family and friends watch this so maybe just to put it in perspective for you or if anyone's maybe in the same situation like i always go on about stuff like this because i feel better when someone else talks about something or mentions something that they're going through that i'm going through or i have gone through and it just makes me feel better knowing that like someone else's kind of opinion on a situation like that or 
how they dealt with it. To be fair, not too long after I filmed that vlog and obviously went through that situation of applying for the job and felt really like deflated and frustrated. Cut a long story short, I really wasn't happy in that job. I hadn't obviously outright said it to managers or anyone like that, but the people that I worked with that I was friendly with, they obviously knew how I felt. Um, and we made a couple of little jokes about it because I wasn't performing the best because I didn't want to be there. What is my computer doing? Everyone kind of knew how I felt and I think after that pushback as well, I was hunting for more jobs and I'd applied for quite a few things. Um, I'd started speaking to a good friend of mine who owns a PR, like creative agency a bit more and uh yeah kind of spend a little bit more time with them because that's more of the creative environment that i really like to be around and i'm sure she won't mind me saying but paris and daisy who works with her they're good friends of mine now which i'm really uh glad that i can say but also they're so so generous and helpful when it comes to career wise because they kind of know the position i'm in like they've been there they get it um and they're always willing to kind of help me um and paris especially like she really wants to see me succeed which is so nice and it really does make me happy basically the job didn't work out uh i had a meeting and we talked about like performance and reviews and stuff and we kind of had like a really open and honest conversation like i obviously didn't want to be there i was really unhappy and miserable and i think because of that obviously i'm not performing very well and it wasn't up to the standards i suppose that they wanted so um yeah we just came to the decision and, and they said they think it's best if we just kind of leave it there and i didn't argue any further like i could have if i wanted to and back myself up but i felt upset obviously straight after because i would have loved to i suppose have left maybe on a bit of a better note and had something else lined up straight away like that's always going to be the ideal situation in something like this but i said i was like i get it like that's absolutely fine i understand where you're coming from i hope you guys understand my situation um and you know the job was not what i thought it was going to be at all i just felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders and i felt free and excited again and i felt like i just this was meant to happen and like i said in the other video you know everything happens for a reason it is what it is like don't stress about the small things like it's absolutely fine you know what's meant to be will be and i will say that all of the time and i keep reminding myself of that like that is like my mantra um just go with the flow you know life is too short to be unhappy and in my situation now it's been well nearly two weeks since that day all of last week i had a really good week um, and i spent a lot of time with said friend paris and daisy um i suppose kind of learning a little bit from them doing a bit of interning but also i've got the opportunity to kind of freelance a little bit of social and pr work now as well so by doing that i'm obviously able to i suppose promote myself a little bit more through like my linkedin and, and things like that and i've definitely had a lot more opportunities come my way in the past few weeks than i have all year so i was not meant to stay in that job like that that was the best thing to happen yes i am still a little bit stressed that i don't have a job in this current um situation but i have spent the afternoon um preparing for an interview so i've got an interview tomorrow for a marketing job which i'm really excited about um that one is for a company in cardiff and then i've got a second interview for another place on wednesday which again i am excited about um this one again isn't too far away it's kind of back towards home i say home obviously this is my home but like family home things like that um so yeah these two jobs i am excited about both of them actually this is just at some point soon like is my moment to just get into that career and just carry on learning and be able to actually give someone my creativity and my ideas and my motivation and excitement to do something fun and promote things you know i love social i love content like that is that's what i'm good at and at some point to be able to actually do that for my job is going to be the best thing ever i need to kind of crack on with presentations and kind of notes and stuff that i'm writing for these interviews like i'm doing a lot of prep like this book 
for the one i've got i think like pages of notes to take with me i've also just written another three pages of notes to create like a powerpoint presentation for something for one of them which is actually quite exciting but i'm just waiting to um check in with someone actually um whether they think it is good or not depending on how this evening goes i might carry this vlog on for the next few days and update you guys on how it goes you know if you're waiting on interviews or wanting to change in your career just do it like just do it yeah obviously i didn't really vlog anything yesterday we went to go and see jack's nan because it was her birthday and i just took like my ipad with me to carry on doing a bit of a presentation for the interview tomorrow um but like i did briefly mention i've got an interview this morning um it's currently five to nine so i'm probably gonna leave in about 15 20 minutes so i've just gotten ready i still need to put my lipstick on but i've just done kind of minimal normal makeup my hair in a bun and i've got this dress on i know it's not the most interviewee thing ever but it's quite humid at the moment and the last thing i want to be wearing is a pair of like black trousers and a shirt but yeah i'm just gonna go through some of the notes that i've made make sure like i know what it is i'm gonna be like talking about i suppose i've not prepared anything like a presentation because i didn't ask for that but i've got a lot of um notes on here about like ideas for got like all of these notes that i can go through um and I think I've, well, I'm taking my iPad with me for examples and like to look back at work I've done and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, this is only a first interview for this one. I don't know, you know, how many other people have applied for this. It could be quite a few, but I think they rang me up straight away. It's, I, I swear I'm, I either applied for this one or they contacted me. I'm not sure, but it was quite a random phone call. But yeah, I'm just gonna read through my notes, double check I've got everything, freshen up and get ready to go i've got petrol or fuel i always say that i've got petrol in my car but my car's a diesel i've had it for like two years i think i might just wander around cardiff for a little bit after and then maybe pop in to see paris on the way home depends what time hi guys i am now home i'm pretty sure i picked the camera up this morning um it's a little bit later than i thought it would be because i stopped off to um see paris and the girls um and catch up and just let them know how it went and um just for a bit of advice on the prep i'm doing for an interview tomorrow which i'm quite happy with i'm quite excited for this one um the interview today went well um they just kind of want um i mean i don't know if i'm going into too much detail here but who cares this is a little bit of insight for those who are in the same boat as me and like i said i'd like to share um a bit more of an insight for me to look back on and yeah just just to run and kind of let and, and get it out there um but yeah it went well i just i've been asked if i can um spend a bit of time to write up a piece of long form content like to do a bit more re like a bit more relevant to the the company um and something that maybe would link with them a little bit more because i've done a little bit of writing in the past but it's i don't think what they're quite looking for um but other than that uh really easy interview um nice place and nice people but yeah um i obviously i'm gonna crack on and, and, and do that so i might start that a little bit later but then i do need to focus on the other one i've got tomorrow um i've just been replying to a few emails tidying up put some washing away i've just made myself one of those like pasta and cheese sauce things um i'm gonna watch a little bit of tv while my phone charges and i've got a quick phone call and then i've got tomorrow kind of morning midday to sort the rest of this presentation out kind of have a shower freshen up clean the flat a little bit um and then i've got the interview in the afternoon so again keep your fingers crossed for me guys you know something good will happen soon we're putting positive vibes out there but i'm gonna find something to put on tv for the next half hour or so and eat my food because i'm so hungry hello guys another day another vlog i haven't worn a bra in so long and i hate it but i didn't know what else to wear i haven't really got anything that's lightweight and like breezy but not like a short dress my steamer's gonna be making some noise um yeah i didn't really know what to wear so i've just got on like some trousers but i need to steam the ends of them and i've got this top on that i've got a mark on already somewhere and obviously i've had to wear a bra 
well i don't have to but i suppose for an interview i don't really want my nipples poking out at them but i've just kind of slipped my hair back again because it needs a wash tonight um I need to put a clip in it i've just done some basic makeup again i'm gonna be leaving in like 15 minutes i've got my presentation ready i've been going through it this morning made it a lot better with some photos and had some people read over it and i feel okay um we will just see how it goes i need to put some lipstick on put some perfume on steam these trousers oh, that's, that's actually quite a bad mark so i might not be home until later on um but yeah my interview is in an hour quite a while longer than i expected and to be fair i'm looking a little bit worse for wear it is absolutely boiling in the flat right now um it's currently five to eight um so i have been at the house quite a while um yeah i think i last filmed when i was on my way to my interview so i stopped at my mum's because she printed out um a document of like notes that i wanted as well um and the interview went really well and they offered me the job while i was there um which is really exciting i'm really 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 pleased um i had a feeling i think about this one that you know not that i'd get off of the job straight away but they'd you know if it, if it was down to me and someone else it would be a tough decision um i think because of what i can bring to the table especially um you know i'm back in myself and um yeah i mean everyone that i've told is so happy for me and i'm just really excited um i'm in a, a really good mood although i don't feel too great i've got a bit of a sore throat a sniffly nose um so I've i need to take some more tablets i took some tablets earlier and i've got some throat spray just in case so i'm gonna run myself a bath even though it is fucking sweltering um just to kind of soothe my muscles and relax a little bit and watch something on my ipad before love island at nine because I do watch that. But like I said, my interview went well. I had my presentation all ready to go. The people that were in the interview with me were really, really lovely, really welcoming, made me feel really comfortable, really easy to get along with. Um, the offices, like the office space that they had there was nice. And you know, I'm not gonna go into the job too much, but the role is for a marketing assistant, which if you followed, I suppose, my job hunt journey for a while, um, that's just, <sighs> it's just what i needed you know i'd done retail i'd done sales i obviously ended up in my last job um which i thought would have been great but just was not for me at all although learned some really great skills um i was taught a lot there I'm, I'm really pleased i know this vlog's been a little bit mishmash with obviously like my haul and kind of updates and stuff but i hope you guys like this type of content because it's just relatable i think if you know i was someone else in the position that I've been in knowing that someone else is going through it and I suppose maybe documenting how they feel and I finally got that break like, you know I'm saying that now I could end up hating this job but I highly doubt it because it's a job role that I want to do you know I've, I've really wanted this job it sounds exciting to me it's growing at a rapid rate what they do is really cool and different and bold and it, it's to do with kind of automotive and like vehicles and stuff which isn't my expertise but it's definitely really intriguing and i'm the type of person i'm always willing to learn and adapt to new surroundings and situations and maybe i'll start next week i don't know um hopefully because obviously uh i've been technically without a job for a week or like not being paid for a week and i don't really want to go another week without having um, that steady income because it can affect certain things for everyone that has had their fingers crossed for me and sending prayers and you know i've had so many lovely messages from people on instagram as well um wishing me all the luck in the world or congratulating me and things like that so i'm just about to kind of put something on instagram um yeah i'm really excited this is the you know the, the kind of job role i've been waiting for it's the next step i suppose in actually building a career from here Friday it's actually mine and Jack's five-year anniversary uh which is crazy and we're all going to my friend James's house I think it's his birthday today um so we're all just going for a few drinks in the garden on Friday and then I might be seeing some of my friends um other friends from back in House of Fraser on Saturday um we might be doing something so 
yeah i've got a fun weekend planned the weather is beautiful again so we're supposed to have like a heat wave the next week or so so hopefully kind of lie out on the balcony a bit and get a tan thank you so much for watching make sure you are subscribed before you leave and give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy and hopefully i will see you in my next one Mwah. bye guys Thank you.